The Central American nation of Honduras is under a state of emergency. This is the country faces increasing number of cases of extortion by violent criminal groups. Honduran President Castro has declared a national security emergency and launched what uh, she called a war against gang extortion. She announced the deployment of 20,000 police agents and new security controls on roads. The new measures will allow the suspension of some constitutional guarantees in areas with criminal gang presence. Nacional debe de recuperar en el menor tiempo posible los espacios públicos asaltados y controlados por el crimen organizado y sus pandillas. Para fortalecer esta estrategia de recuperación inmediata de los territorios sin ley, en los barrios, en las colonias, en las aldeas, en los municipios y en los departamentos, declaro emergencia nacional en materia de seguridad e instruyo a la Policía Nacional. The plan follows pressure from the businessmen, truck, bus and taxi drivers, residents and non-governmental organizations who said extortion had increased over months. These gangs have been offering protection in exchange of so-called war tax and have been killing those who don't pay up. According to an NGO, this extortion generates annual profits equivalent to $737 million for the gangs. This is equivalent to nearly 3% of the country's GDP. The president announced the plan on television broadcast alongside the national police director, who listed out the ways through which extortions take place, warning the public to stay safe. Queremos explicar las modalidades de la extorsión, y estas se dan a través de la extorsión telefónica, que es la tradicional, también mediante notas extorsivas, Igualmente por la extorsión por medio de redes sociales y hay algunos surgimientos de nuevas modalidades de la extorsión. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.